less weight, less engine. Smaller and lighter, the Acadia no longer requires a V6 engine, at least according to GMC. For 2017, the base engine is now a 194 HP 25 liter 4 cylinder. A 36 liter V6, newer than the outgoing Acadia similarly sized V6, will be optional and is estimated to produce 310 horsepower. Official EPA fuel economy estimates haven't been released, but General Motors says the front drive four cylinder Acadia, which comes with a stop start feature, will achieve 22 mpg in the city and 28 mpg on the highway, impressive figures for a three row. The front drive six cylinder, alternatively, will be good for 17 25 mpg with the help of active fuel management, which can shut down some cylinders to save fuel. Both engines are mated to six speed automatic transmissions, and front wheel drive is standard and all wheel drive remains optional. Improvements were made to the Acadia's all wheel drive, which is now handled by an active twin clutch system. In AWD models, this pair of clutches handles the apportioning of engine torque across the rear axle. Also, a drive mode selector now enables front wheel drive operation via an all wheel drive disconnect setting which effectively decouples the rear axle to save fuel when all-wheel traction isn't needed, as well as all-wheel drive 4x4, sport, off-road, and trailer-slash-tow modes. Front-wheel drive Acadias have selectable drive modes, too, including normal, snow, sport, and trailer-slash-tow. The Acadia being a family truck Sterling, GMC loaded it to the gunnels with safety gear. At least, depending which model you pick from among SLT, Denali, and a new all-terrain. Low-speed emergency braking is standard on Acadia SLT, 2 and Denali models, while all-speed emergency braking capability comes on the Denali. Other new safety features on offer include pedestrian detection, a following distance indicator, automatic high beam control, a 360-degree parking camera, and a rear seat alert that notifies the driver when an item may have been left in the second and third row seats. You know, like a child. Or something like that. Carryover safety items such as blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, and forward collision alert again are part of the Acadia's rapport. While the industry largely marches on content in bloating its new models, GMC joins the ranks of Ford, which cut a lot of weight from the F. 150, and Land Rover, whose most recent redesigns also lost a significant amount of weight, in driving the opposite direction. The major difference, of course, is that the F-150 and the Range Rover both shaved weight via an extensive use of aluminum. The GMC is lighter primarily by being smaller. It's not the cleverest solution, but it's certainly cheaper than engineering and building an aluminum-intensive crossover for the masses. To us, the weight savings should it hold up on our scales is worth some interior volume. Lighter vehicles drive better and get better fuel economy, and the new Acadia's tidier dimensions should make it easier to park and maneuver in city environs. The lightweight Acadia also bodes well for the soon-to-be redesigned Buick Enclave and Chevrolet Traverse, which will share underpinnings with the GMC. Given how GMC sold nearly 100,000 Acadias last year, the vehicle's best sales year ever, it strikes us that the company likely can do no wrong with the 2017 model when it goes on sale in the spring. After all, in a world obsessed with big, there's nothing wrong with swollen sales numbers.